Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I got the sticks. We're playing at 19, bitches. Yes, it's a very special episode of Moesha. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Austin right. Desperados. Oh, this man. <laughs> That's a throwback, huh? You made me Divisional giggle. playoff game. As always, playing that offense only, simming that D and using that balanced playbook. <laughs> also, uh -huh. we would enjoy if you took the time to click that sub button and ring a ding a ling a ling that <laughs> notification bell for us. See, it didn't need the ling. <laughs> if it was this ring a ding a. No. Ring a ding a ling a ding a ling. Ring a ding a ding a ding. -a -ling. <laughs> so many dings. How many ding dings do you want? I hate Americans. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> because bells don't even make that fucking sound, but everybody just knows that 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 yeah. onomatopoeia yeah. is what a bell does. O onomatopoeia. So we're playing the Ravens. They're nine and seven. Yeah, well, guess what? We're Jonas? sixteen and oh, bitch. We're undefeated for two seasons. Yeah, dude. We're about to. Yeah. We're about to do it. So they can suck Raven Simone wow. uh, fingers to Wow. That's a erotic thing to say about the, her. The Cheetos dust off of them. <laughs> suck the Cheetos dust off of her <laughs> fucking tip. Yeah, that's what they can do. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to fucking smack these Ravens right upside Raven the head. Raven Simone is a LGBTQ. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if there was any question if Jonas was a straight man, <laughs> that right there just answered your fucking question. See, I know. <laughs> I like women's. <laughs> when you say Raven Simone's an LGBT, <laughs> that is the straightest, that's the fucking most white cis male thing you've ever white said. White cis man. You've ever said in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's so fun. I meant to say, like, supporter or something. But She's I... nailed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's move past it. Uh, yes, Jonas, she is. <laughs> Dude, you remember when she, like, had music? Uh, Yeah, Cheetah Girls. And, uh, she had a show. No, she had her own music, too, besides the Cheetah Girls. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And do you remember, like, she there was, like, so a squirt gun that came out in, like, the 80s, 90s that was, uh, it, like, went over your fingertips, and you, like, shot water out of your fingers! Don't you dare! Oh, thought, Ooh. you missed all the thought being. I, I threw thoughts down. I was watching, but you were talking. Oh, <laughs> I was, thoughts. I was gonna let you finish There were so things. many thoughts. But, like, you, like... It had like a thumb button, and you would like push it on, and it would shoot water out of your four fingers. And like I got it because I was all like, "Mom, I want the coolest toy." Because I'm like, I want cool things. And then like I got it, and I was like, "Hey, friends, come over. Let's have a water gun fight." I got my sweet little fucking. Bzz. And like they had a super soaker, and I had the. Bzz, and yep, I lost. Yep. Because the super soaker is a, it's power. not just a clever name, folks. Yeah, it's power. It's power over functionality, a big guy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude, I loved Super Soakers. Like, I wish they still made the originals. Like, the Super Soaker 50 and the Super Soaker 100. Those two were the shit. Yeah. Then they got, like, ridiculous and got, like, the 200 that had the backpack. And, like, I actually <laughs> had the 300, so I'm not <laughs> even going to lie. Did you wear, have, like, the drawback? Yeah, thing? the one you would have to, like, fucking pull it back on the top. You felt like you are like, in Aliens or some shit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Like, yeah, I was I had, Ramirez. Uh, I had, I think, I think I had two 50s and a 100, and we used to do water fights with them, and it 50. was awesome, yeah. Yeah, I had a 50. The 50 was, like, the most practical thing ever. Ever. It was like it was powerful, but it like it was yeah, yeah it was light. Yeah. I had a twenty as well too. The, oh, the handgun. Oh shit. Yeah, I guess my parents kind of spoiled me a little bit. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, why do you need three fucking? Because if one of my friends wanted to come over, I, I would know, take the three hundred, and that's why. Yeah. And then they would get you, the you, you get the twenty, they get the twenties, you had the three hundreds. <laughs> oh my that's god, that's fair. I remember filling that backpack up <laughs> in the sink in the laundry room of our apartment building, <laughs> and then like shooting each other with water guns in the building, running outside. Yeah, those were the days, dude. dude. Yeah, that was like pre-internet, so like you didn't have anything else to do. Do but... kids even have water gun fights anymore? Over fucking Wi-Fi, probably. <laughs> they have they have water gun apps that they like. For all you kids out there who are uh, who are under twenty-five, 
Do you guys had? Did you guys have water gun fights? Put it in the comments. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't watch a whole lot of like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, but I don't know if they even advertise. Yeah, well, I mean, like a lot of things that we did when we were kids, people don't do oh, anymore. Johnny. Um, like play board games that like traditional. Board, they have those new board games that are like they were like every time they're different because you add to the board as you play. Yeah, those well, are kind of complex like, though. What? Those are kind of complex. Yeah, but like basic. I don't think people play like Monopoly. They do Monopoly like on the Xbox and shit. I now. never. I never really play board games either. I honestly. did, and I played, uh... Like, You're from a different time. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are the oldest millennial in the world. I'm just but saying is that you you play board games, and I never really did. Oh, my God, bitch. Who's gonna get it? Okay, one of them. Great. Son of a fucking butthole. You know what other games you, you never played, John? Madden. <laughs> never played never Madden, played Madden played ever. Madden. Son of a bitch. I they got three believe. points off of our misfortune. <laughs> Have you ever profited off someone else's misfortune in your life? Uh, every day that I wake up. No. <laughs> I, I'm looking for a specifics, not like... No, I mean, I'm always out there trying to get it, and if you're moving a little slow, then... Oh, you know, like, hey, what's up? This motherfucker! Oh, okay, I tried I thought... to, like, let him catch up, and... I know. Hey, CJ Mosley, why are you a linebacker catching up with my fucking running back, you son <laughs> of a bitch? Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm always out there trying to get it, and if you're moving too slow, I'm definitely going to profit off your misfortune. So okay. I couldn't say, like... A specific moment. Yeah, you're you... trying to ask me something illegal. Can I be held culpable for yeah, anything? No, 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 no. The statutes is gone. Make sure it's seven years old. Yeah, okay. Uh, I um one time I found a twenty dollar bill when I was a, like a kid yeah. at like Giant Eagle, which mm -hmm. was like a, a grocery store chain in Ohio, okay. and uh, and mm -hmm. like I bought a set of base. Oh, Gary, Harry, boy, your fucking ass is bleeding tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that went somewhere dark. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> How about that $20 bill story? Let's finish that <laughs> up and try to overshadow this whole uh, prison rape scene that you've got into the minds of our listeners. Um, oh, my God. So, like, <laughs> I, found, I found a $20 bill, uh -huh. and, like, <laughs> and I looked around to see if anybody was like looking for it. Yeah. I wasn't like a complete fucking jerk, no, I, and I no one was. I mean, I looked really hard, and then I went and bought a set of baseball cards with it. It's not really profiting off of somebody <laughs> finding money. Is not profiting off of somebody's misfortune. Oh, is it not? Yeah, I kind of feel like if you had saw the twenty dollar bill, you stepped on it, and then you just like stood there. Oh, and like started, as they're looking for it. Yeah, you like, just like step I'm on like, it. Nothing here, sir. Don't you worry. That's like the oldest trick in the book for when you find money. You see the money on the ground, you step on it, and then you act like you're checking your phone. And you just like yeah, because you can like even slide your foot back if like yeah uh, yeah you just kind of. In there, I'm checking my phone, and then you just like, oh, you look down at your shoe, and you start. You tie, oh, my shoe's untied. Your shoe, slip and you yeah. slip that, and then you. Yeah, I like it. That's some sleight yeah, of but hand. But I bought it was a 1990 Fleer baseball card set, the ones with the yellow border. So if anyone knows what set I'm talking about, nobody does. Put it in the comments. Nope. Some fucking old guys like stumbled upon our videos none real quick. Of, none of those guys. Oh are my mother, fucking Taylor. Oh, nice, boy, he's trying to save his job, folks. That ain't going to happen. <laughs> what a baseball card? You don't even have any baseball cards to this day. I do, too. They're in my closet. You you have baseball cards? Yeah, I got, actually, I have like some of my dad's cards. They're worth like a lot of money. I have like a Nolan Ryan rookie card. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I have to actually, like, if I ever get the uh, initiative, I'm going to send them out to be graded because they got to be graded now. But some of those cards, mm -hmm. and they're in pretty good shape. You but, can't just take it to a like a guy? Well, store? yeah, but the, no, no, you have to like, they, the, they really fucked up baseball cards about maybe like a decade ago or so. They made it where they did a grading system where you send your card to like the mint or some, some mint or some baseball fucking historian place and you have to pay and they grade it. So like it's graded zero to 10 from like 10 is like pristine, even edges, no corner damage, nothing. It's like a lot of work. All the way down to nothing. But. Um, if you have the cards that are like, say I had that Nolan Ryan rookie and it was a 10, it would probably be worth like, it could be worth like $10,000. Like it could be worth, but that's in like pristine condition. Let's, like let's, let's find out how much it's worth. Look up, no, look up Nolan Ryan rookie, Nolan Ryan, Jerry Kuzman rookie 10. <laughs> Sorry. My head is something in my eye, dude. <laughs> Nolan. Ryan, Ryan, Jerry Kuzman. It's a split rookie card. There's two people on it. I'm not looking all that up. You no, it's no. I'm sure if you put Nolan Ryan rookie, 
I see it going for oh three thousand dollars for some of them. What what grade though? I don't know. Dude. I'm just looking up to get an idea. I'm not trying. Yeah, to Yeah, but like exactly it could like in like. In, but my dad had a lot dude. of old cards like uh, Hank Aaron's and like old Wilt Chamberlain cards. So like I need to send some of them out because because like for example, if it costs me a hundred dollars to get it graded and I can get three thousand dollars for it, it's worth it. You know what I mean? I just I just kind of feel like they should have like an antiques roadshow for shit like that. They should. Yeah, that Nolan Ryan card I have is in pretty good condition too. I would say it's probably like a seven or seven or eight, maybe. So, well, go get that money, motherfucker. I know. I need to like the process. Like the process is like it. Wow. Did he like double jump? I don't, did he double, it looked like he, he bounced, bounced. He fucking hunt. Genji'd on him. Yeah, but um, the process is kind of like maybe I'll be Genji. cumbersome. I think so. I need to like go through and kind of price them online and figure out which ones may be worth doing, and then like invest like you know. Five or six hundred dollars. Nope. It, to be able to then make like ten thousand dollars. And then hopefully. you have to find the buyer and. Uh, right. Exactly. So that. So it's like it's a big pain in the ass. Like so. But if I hold on to him longer, they'll just be more and more. But the the cool thing about those old cards, like some of the sets he has are like from the sixties. So even like the commons are worth like twenty five dollars because people are looking to complete sets and like you can't find them anywhere anymore. So even like some no name guy, Joe Schmo, could be worth like yeah, like twenty five bucks. If anybody's looking for baseball cards, they got some issues in well, life. or too that, much money. But, but those sets are so old it's like old guy you know what I mean? It's like older guys who like want the set of like the cards they had when they were a kid and com when they want a complete set and shit. Dude, I don't I just don't I don't know. I don't see the the issue with, with like collecting shit. Yeah, I I mean I used to collect baseball cards when I was a kid. Now I would I don't want to. And it's like it's so much to lug anything around. Dude, anyone who's moved more than like five times in their life doesn't want to collect anything anymore. I'm just saying I don't understand. But got it. Clenched his cheeks and took it in, folks. I just saying I don't understand why people collect shit because it's like you collect it so you can look at it. <laughs> That's <laughs> like what the fuck does that do for you? These guys have like millions of dollars who are collecting things of this nature and then they do what? Look at it? Yeah, they keep, tell people about it. Keep it under glass. Yeah, keep it under lock and key. I kind of feel like if you have something that's like these cards, get rid of motherfuckers because you can't spend it once you're in the ground. Yeah. Wow, there's so many socks. I'm missing them all. Oh, my oh. God. <laughs> and he was rumbling down, folks. Eight rushes, 182 yards and two touchdowns. But yeah, that's just me. Yeah, dude, I feel like I should. I should just take them somewhere and sell them for whatever yeah, I can yeah. get for them. And then, then you I can don't... get me something nice for Christmas. Yeah, right? Jonas, did you know that they... they... <laughs> He did surgery on a grape. Ah, oh, dude, I fucking did. I missed it. it was halftime. We missed our chance. We were so far away, though. Yeah. But did you know that? They did surgery. Oh, you know, I saw that. Yeah. Like, actually, I did see a picture of that. They did surgery on a grape. For yeah. what? What did it do? I think I saw the headline, but I didn't, like, read it. it, it it's, it, I don't know. I don't think it's important. <laughs> I don't think it's important. What's important is the meme. Oh, break him off. God damn it, Taylor. He was trying to trying to earn his job. If you would have ran that touchdown back, I would have kept him. You were wearing that man as a belt for like five yards. Well, I mean, he maybe that's how he swings. I, I don't swing? want to like... What does it got to be it's about swinging? Were we talking more about LGBTQs? <laughs> Sometimes wise? Sometimes <laughs> Sometimes why I love that. Mm -hmm. Like W in the in the right circumstances. If it's the third letter and the I last have... part of sip. Oh, I put a... oh. LS. He fell us. I mean, he's like I was just following the button. And, Who and... didn't get a scoop yet? Uh, Taylor. Uh, I didn't get one yet. Gary Harry got one. Can I so get a scoop? You want to be on the team? <laughs> no, I would just like some ice cream, please. Oh, I don't have any. Oh my God, Taylor! Wow. Taylor got his fucking scoop. He wants to stay on the team, bro. You know it can't feel good to be pulled down in a tackle like that. No, like you're <laughs> running full speed and someone jumps on your back and like pulls you to the ground. Yeah. Like, no, it couldn't feel good. You're yeah. absolutely correct. You'd imagine that has to hurt a little bit. Well, and like the strain it puts like on your hamstrings and shit because like you're running and like you just. That's why they do no horse collars, which is where you grab the shoulder pad yeah, behind yeah, their yeah, neck yeah. because it can like break your legs. Like, cause you put so much force like as you're running, it just like snap. That's what happened to. Uh, 
Terrell Owens that like snapped his fucking fibula because oh, someone pulled him down. That was a nice little juke. It didn't get you anywhere, but it was still nice. It looked pretty. It did. It looked nice. Yeah. And it's like, you know, when you get dressed up and you got nowhere to go, you look pretty, but there's really no purpose. <laughs> it feels bad, man. <laughs> You just sit, you know, sit there, and you you wish that you had somewhere to go. And but, oh, buttons. Ooh. Benjamin Button. Jonas, I got a date tonight. Fuck yeah, go but, date it. Dude, I don't know if I want to go. I mean, you can get some. I don't. I know, dude. I mean, like, some, right? You want some? Like uh, everybody wants some. Listen, I, I don't know if anybody out out there in fucking YouTube land feels the way I do. All right, but How like, do you, you ever just be like, I, I should go out on this date, or should I just like stay home and play video games? <laughs> um, I don't know that. Oh God. There's a lot of work and effort that goes into wooing a woman. Oh fuck yeah, dude. I'm not in the woo mood. You're not in a woo mode right now. I'm not now? in a woo mood. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. What you're, about, you're always in woo mood. What about Suwu? What? You don't even know what that means. It's a, it's a gang thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> well, if there's any question <laughs> as to Jonas's race, I'd like to say is that he has proved today. <laughs> yes, it is a gang thing. <laughs> you got it. It's like a greeting. It's like, what up? I don't know. I'm going to call her and cancel it. No, I'm not going to cancel. You don't cancel, bro. It's I not know. Your, it's not your, like, cup of tea. Yeah, well, I'll tell you right now. Number one in the dynamite way is you don't flake out. Yeah, dude. You say anything. you're going to do something, you fucking do it. Yeah, but, dude. That I mean, that's your mantra for everything. Though. And that just means that I don't say a lot because I don't play I know, dude. Like, I know, like, I know well enough to not ask you, like, a week ahead of time if you want to do something because you won't say the answer to, like, the day before because yeah. you don't want to, like, not feel like it. I don't like committing. Yeah, dude. I'm non-committal. Like I'm I'm single and I enjoy it, dude. I like committing. I like planning shit out. I like. Yeah, I know, man. You jumping into some committal oh, I got things some commit all the time. Damn. Woo. You have like five guys on the team, dude. They the Ravens like are them. Ellis's bitch today. They can't pull them off of you or something, dude. I'm gonna run to the right. That's how fucking. I think you should. That's a great idea. I'm gonna fucking. Yeah, you tatted your face. You changed the game. <laughs> <laughs> you probably first to change the culture. Oh! Oh, wow! oh my God. God! They can't even stop. Him. God, they can't even stop him, folks. <laughs> Ellis is sliding in there like a motherfucking piece of Velveeta on a cheeseburger. Little did they realize Ellis had Coda's entire jersey, and uh, I can't believe Bacon it's not grease. butter. <laughs> He was making bacon before the game, folks, and he just he just did it. Yeah, I'm going to be making some bacon tonight. Are you making it? You know what I'm saying. Hey, oh, <laughs> you know what he means, folks. He's talking about coitus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God, dude. Can you guys suck anymore? Oh, God, please. Please get be gone, Oh, thoughts. be gone, Oh, my thoughts. God. Ellis is fucking look at making this shit. these guys look like hoes. To, oh, my God. Dude, why are do? they so fast? Oh, what the fuck? Who is that? <laughs> Does he have like That's a, a linebacker. Does he have a Spider-Man web shooter that he has? Like dude, I don't know. That's why this game is jank as fuck, dude. It's just stupid. Like, at that point, just let him have it, you know? Yeah, like, I mean, you caught me from 90 yards down the field, bro. This guy's only job is running. His only job is tackling. And Yep, he can run better than your fastest runner. Yep. God, Ooh, dude, run into the right, man. We're going to spike it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's it. Big Ellis flex. is fucking just making them his bitch. Like, I I'm feel great that I'm making uh, Baltimore look so bad today. Yeah, I don't care for Baltimore. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Yeah, they stole our team back in, like, 96. Fucking Art Modell. Fucking model. That shit, that shit still lies in my heart. Oh, God. That's, Do you yeah. remember, like, there was, like, hate in the fucking plane dealer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there dude. was, like, hate speech in the plane dealer against Art Modell. They're like, Art Modell can go to hell. <laughs> Art Modell. Oh, my God. The seeing. Do you see him? They nice. didn't see him. Nice. Nice throw, Ergamonte. Your lumberjack roots are doing well. Okay, and there's the coach again. He's clapping. He's yeah, dude, the coach. Yeah, you know the coach. He tatted his face, too. 
You should be able to like give your players tattoos. Can you make your own characters? Yeah, yeah, dude. You know what I should do? I should make me and you. You should and, make a me and you, dude. In the fucking, uh, <laughs> I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, I, I don't want to ruin the surprise yet on the. Uh, well, why well, you're already ruined it by talking about it. Now they know there's a surprise. Well, yeah, but they don't know when it's coming. Yeah, but now, okay, now they know it's coming soon. It's never coming. <laughs> now they know it's definitely coming. <laughs> Well, maybe I'll do You are the worst at surprises. No, dude, I'm good at surprises. No, dude, you're the worst at it. Because now they know it's a surprise. They know it's coming soon. They know it's definitely coming. Well, I mean, I think they know what it is, too. Now no, they know what it is! <laughs> God damn it! Hey, man. Don't you worry. How you doing today? No, nah, man. I mean, could you handle that? You know, or, 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 or you're going to keep talking about it? No, that would that be like too far for you? You're going to keep talking about the surprise. Well, I, it's I'm, all no, good. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, done talking about it. I'm done forever. You can talk about this off camera. You're ruining the surprise for everybody. No one watches these videos, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> if they do watch, they're not watching when it's, it's forty-nine like this, to six. That's true. This is like our <laughs> second, <laughs> like our second most uh, watched series. Yeah. It is. Yeah. With it's, almost three views. <laughs> three views. We're <laughs> so trash. We are so trash. Yo, but we always got a hundred subs, man. Keep Ooh, that sub keep button that train sub. going. Yeah, dude. We Boys. almost have our own. We almost have our own URL. Hell yeah. YouTube.com forward slash Curzy Town Media. Hell yeah, coming. bro. Get us monetized. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Give me money. Yeah, make it so I can just do this mm -hmm. forever. What's our Patreon? What's our fucking uh? <laughs> go fund me. Do we have a go fund me? Nah, yeah, we should. Help us not work. The go fund me's are bullshit. Did you see that like that one go fund me where the like the lady helped or a homeless guy helped the lady and then like Oh, a couple tried to raise like money for and him, they, they got like a hundred K and they stole it. <laughs> it was more like four hundred K. And they like yeah, and they just stole the money and like ran off. Uh no, the homeless guy was in on it. <laughs> oh, was he? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I thought they said they ended up giving the homeless. They only gave him like seventy-five or some shit or fifty. But then they found out later he was like he was part of the plan. Uh, yeah, because he was like, wait a minute, you guys made this much money, you only gave me fifty k. I don't think I need more. And then he told the story, and then shit. They um. Now they're in trouble. Oh, I bet. Dude, did you see that uh, DJ Khaled and Floyd, Mather, Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather got charged with uh, cryptocurrency fraud? Really? They um. They well, they settled with the SEC, mm -hmm. SEC, right? Yeah. FCC, um, yeah. No, at the Securities Exchange Commission. They didn't oh, like get SEC. charged like with a crime. I guess it's kind of a crime, but they had to pay a fine because and pay. They got they got paid money to promote cryptocurrency, and they didn't announce that they were promoted, and they didn't really actually oh. invest in it when they said they did oh. and uh so it's, it's basically since it's a security like a stock like you can't like they couldn't be like hey i bought all the stock of google and then they didn't buy google and google paid them to say that yeah. you, have, you have to like announce that so they aren't allowed to promote cryptocurrency for like three years cool. as part, sure yeah right it. and they and they had to give back all the money they made plus oh. pay a fine so that's kind of annoying yeah, but I mean, that's kind of that's kind of weird though because I mean, you would think like if in the oh my god, did he just rip him down by his neck bone? <laughs> Basically, yeah, dude. You would think in like the commercial would be like this is a paid actor. Well, that's what they're supposed to say, but they didn't. Like, I guess I guess Floyd Mayweather posted on his Twitter, "Call me Floyd Crypto." <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what a douche that he dude is, is a douche, man. <laughs> Not, I mean, not only because of his uh, illiteracy. Oh, <laughs> I mean he's a, I mean he's pretty bad man at boxing. So I mean, give him that. I mean, granted, he's picked his fights for the last ten, but he's like, who can I beat? Oh, Pacquiao. He's nine years past his prime. Yeah, he was supposed to do another goddamn fight too. Oh, was that a fumbly? No, no, he knocked it out before. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I know, dude. Like they, I wish they would have fought like back in the day, like when it would have been like a worthwhile fight to watch. Yeah, he doesn't even fight boxers anymore. <laughs> All he fights is MMA guys. Well, he's 50 and 0 now. I don't think he's going to fight anybody again. Like 50 years old, too. He's getting up there. He's the size of a small boy, though. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> From that. Oh! Uh, he fucking got him, folks! God damn it, Jonas. Damn, you know, dude. Jonas, I'm, we're going to lose. One more. Mo yeah, we're going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> One more interception, Jonas, and I'm taking away your anime body pillow. 
<laughs> good thing, good thing, man. I don't, <laughs> lose, I don't want to lose that thing. I don't even know what it is. You don't know what an anime what body? Is an anime body pillow. It's one of those big body pillows, like a long. Yeah, it has pillow, an anime like, and it has like an anime chick on it, and you hug with it at night, so you're not lonely. Oh, that would make me more lonely. I think. <laughs> You mean no? You have it. You have the pillow. Oh, oh! I mean, yeah. When I hug mine, I get more lonely. And some of them are like wholesome anime girl waifu types, and some of them are like hentai, and some oh of them my have God. some of them have like orify, orify <laughs> pillows, yeah. apertures, oh, whatever dude, you want to call it. Dude, oh my God! What? Oh, that, you know what, Jonas? My heart, bro. <laughs> Why is this, is this your first time hearing about this? Are they like? Do they have like? Are they female shaped or are they no. like just like a body pillow with like a picture? Yeah, on it's a... just like a long pillow with a picture dude, on. Dude, that's like. It's not like a weird sex thing, dude. It's because, oh, it's not weird yeah, sex. I mean, because... you penetrate a pillow with a picture. I of a mean, those ones are it. those. Those are weird sex ones, not the kink shame, but those are the real <laughs> weird sex ones. But the other ones are just like it's a pillow with an anime girl on it, so you can like. Hang out with your waifu. Your waifu. Yeah, I mean, that's. I mean, I get it. I mean, I get it. I don't think you do. I don't. I don't You're think right. you do. You're absolutely fucking right. I don't get it. Call me the weird guy if who doesn't you, get fucking anime girls. If you, if you, if you have an anime body pillow at your house, send us a picture of it. Yeah, uh, dude, at the like crazy fucking, town. What's our what's the website or our email? Uh, crazytownmedia at gmail dot com. Crazytownmedia at gmail dot com. I want to see your anime body pillows. Send them in. Or they could upload it to Imgur and then put a link in the comments so everyone oh, can see yeah, it. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, do that or put it on your reddit account and put a link whatever yeah. uh and, and never mind <laughs> i was gonna say have your dick next to it for scale oh, but that's dude, not no. cool that's put, not cool put a that's banana cool. for scale not yeah your, banana for scale yeah, dude, not your dick <laughs> oh please don't please do don't s send tnt dynamite oh, all no, the don't, don't it. <laughs> a lot of kids watch these videos man i don't oh, yeah. need that kind of heat <laughs> no that's right all right no, no, fbi no, no. open up they're like, I swear I didn't ask for it. They're like, here on on uh, whatever date this video released, at you at this timestamp, you specifically said, send, please, do. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, no, no, I don't want any of that. Yeah, yeah, I got Banana you. for scale is fine. But yeah, just a banana. <laughs> that, in fact, don't that, show us what you do. Just We want to see your waifu pillows. I feel like the longer we stay on this, the, the worse it the worst gets. Is gonna get. And another touchdown. No. Oh, I tried First to down. click it before I stick it. Ooh, time out from the coach. Oh, it's the coach me. <laughs> he knows what times it, it is. Hey, Baltimore, this why are you so shitty? This is a horrible game for them. Well, <laughs> they Holy gave up almost 400 shit. yards on the ground to Ellis. There's Andy Reid. He's fucking <laughs> stupid. I can't even make fun of him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, my team's so good. <laughs> He's like, why is my mama walrus? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, cause of the, the mustache, he looks uh, like. Oh yeah, dude, he's like, he's like, hey, everybody. <laughs> You're constantly, it's bad. I talk about somebody's mom being a walrus. You talk about everybody on the team doing crack. They do crack. They don't do crack, Jonas. I'm not. <laughs> Not gonna have you talk. Look, see, he looks bar warrior. Yeah, he does. He okay. looks like he wants some fish. And it's not just because he has girth, folks. It's yeah, not a fat joke. <laughs> We're not fat shaming. It him. was a little bit of a fat joke. Okay. But it was, <laughs> it was mainly mainly because of the mustache. Okay. Is okay. this what I think it is? It is. Uh, the goddamn kicker's getting into the action. Oh, they knocked it out of the butt, folks. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. It don't work every time, but it works. Oh, he, shit. He, He's like, God damn it, mother. <laughs> I'm going to go eat some salmon. Why'd you eat all the trout? <laughs> Who is Blair the third? Argamonte. That guy's like, hey. He's like, do we win? <laughs> Did we? Guys, did we win? I don't know. Argamont Bowser. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Your princess is in another castle. Yeah. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Please little, make Yachty? sure to like, share, and subscribe. Lie to your friends. Tell them that we're good. Tell them to subscribe, too. Uh, we're Why is our helmet gray? Normally, it's black. I'm pretty sure it's gray. <laughs> oh, is it? Man, I didn't know that 30 games later. Yeah, it's like it's gray right there. Oh, yeah. Huh. It's always been gray. No, dude. That's uh, our altered. Excuse me. Altered beast. That's our altered beast, right? So, all right, all right. Well, for uh, TNT, God, four hundred and thirteen passing yards, three hundred and eighty-one rushing yards. They had one forty-eight and fifty-eight. That's not enough. <laughs>
<laughs> no. Combined, they didn't even have half as many rush yards as we had. <laughs> Jesus, what yeah. a sad day for Baltimore. Our, Happy day for Cleveland. Our Sim D is pretty strong. Our Sim D is very strong. For Jonas, for TD Dynamite, we are out.